State Centre, we have been doing what we could to address this through the support of friends, colleagues and the Department of Public Health by providing food and doing home visits during the winter months to ensure that older people in our borough had hot food and advice on keeping warm during the winter period. When we became involved with this three years ago, un unfortunately once we had one of the highest statistics of winter deaths during the winter months. It was at an average of one death a day from October to March. This was tragic and we felt we had to do more. We were extremely fortunate that the Wimbledon Foundation responded to a grant application and supported us by giving us £66,000 for a three year period. This grant funding started last year and in the last year we visited 800 people in their homes and thanks to you we were able to provide food, heating, blankets, kettles, microwaves and advice on keeping warm during the winter months. Many of these people have had weekly visits since where we continue to offer the lifeline through the winter period. This year we have been supporting many other people who fall into the category of vulnerable people in the winter months, such as homeless people, people attending luncheon clubs, and sadly young families living below the poverty level who themselves are at risk. Just before we came today, we dropped some food and heating and clothing to a young mother and her one-year-old baby who are living in a hostel and they virtually have nothing. The sad reality for me is that any of these people could be our own mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, and it is vital that this great work continues for these people during these challenging times. I cannot express to you the, emo the flow of my emotions when I visit some of these people, the absolute sadness of the circumstances they find themselves in, and yet the great joy in their faces when we give them the donations that the Foundation have made possible for us. But I think more importantly, what goes alongside giving is the fact that someone really cares. This is what makes a difference. Surely, there is no purpose in our lives unless we give something back. I would like to introduce you to Joshna Pujara, who has very kindly agreed to join us this evening despite the fact that she is living with chronic heart disease and is terminally ill. Joshna lives with her son, who himself has respiratory disease due to asbestos poisoning. Joshna and her son Neil have had continued support from us through your grant for some months now, and both she and I, and of all of those people, you have touched through the great giving of the Wimbledon Foundation. I thank from the bottom of my heart. In conclusion, I would like to invite the Chair and Trustees of the Foundation to host one of your meetings at Randall Close Day Centre, where you can see the work we do with disabled people and hear more about this project. We have a large building, car parking space, and can, can, can provide lunch, not quite to the same standard. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've been living with chronic lung disease myself and have not been out at this time in the evening for almost 18 months now <laughs> due to the condition. But if I had to crawl here this evening, I would have done to thank you for enabling me to make the difference on your behalf. Thank you sincerely. Yay.